Hello everybody, Andrea here with Dental L. Let's talk about the different types of ways to clean in between your teeth, either using the string floss, the floss picks, like those things on the sticks, and water flossers. Which one I prefer and which ones I see the best results in my patients and which ones are easier. So you'll kind of hear me mention a little bit of everything here. String floss is not the be all end all, a little secret for you. I don't use string floss. Okay, here we go. Let's have some fun, shall we? So I love the water pick, the water, you, you might hear me refer to it as the water pick, the water flosser, Water pick is the brand name that people have just heard. Kind of like tissues and Kleenex. People call Kleenex Kleenex, but it's actually not called Kleenex, it's called tissues. So if you hear me say that, just ignore me, okay? I love the water flossers. This is how they work. It's a little tip. It kind of sprays out high pressure water, not too high, but think of it like a power washer for inside the mouth. You just kind of go along the gums along the teeth like this and that cleans off in between the teeth even along the margins it's fantastic for plaque stain it's amazing this works in my opinion your online dental hygienist here who has her own practice in my opinion this works the number one works the best better than that string floss, better than the floss picks. And I'm going to tell you why in a moment. So let's just move down to the string floss and then the floss pick. So string floss is good, okay? I'm not gonna tell people not to use it. If, as long as you use the string floss every day and you're doing it properly, it works amazing. But the thing about string floss is people don't like using it. They know they should. Your dental hygienist, your dentist will tell you constantly, you need to floss. So what people end up doing is they will floss every day, a week after they have their teeth cleaned and then maybe once a week and then once a month. It's not doing anything if you're not doing it consistently. If you're flossing three times a week, that's actually pretty good. You're not doing too bad, but for most people to really see a proper cleaning in between the teeth is you have to floss every day. So I find my patients or anybody just isn't doing it enough and it's not worth it. The floss picks though are definitely easier to use because it has the little string floss, which is attached to a little stick, if you will, and you kind of floss like that. It is easier to use, but same thing. You have to use it every day to be effective. The difference with the floss picks is you can't quite curve it to get underneath the gums as much as you could with the string floss, and you can't quite curve it so that it's more comfortable. This can actually hurt you sometimes if you go too hard and too fast. So the floss picks though, I do like for kids. They're so much easier for kids to use. And I tell them when they're watching a movie, watching a TV show, they can use the floss picks. It's so much easier for them and it does help to clean in between the teeth. A little secret that I'm going to add as well is these um, picks, you can reuse them. In my opinion, okay, you can just obviously clean it off with your finger. If it's looking disgusting, then throw it out. But for those who use it every day, you are keeping the teeth clean. There might be a little bit of plaque on there, sometimes not at all. You can reuse it. You don't have to. You know, everybody kind of says to me, or some people say, Andrea, that's disgusting. I say, hey, that's okay. Don't do it. But if your hygienist is saying it's fine, trust me, you're not going to introduce more plaque back in as long as you're cleaning it off. So just a little tip for you. So those are the different types. So I'm going to move back to the water pick. I prefer the water pick because it's easy to use. I personally use the water flosser every day after I eat, if I'm home, every morning and every night. It's truly amazing. My teeth, my gums, everything is so healthy. I do not use the string floss. I have my teeth cleaned every six months. My dental hygienist says my teeth, everything looks amazing. So I've done the research for you, okay? The water flosser is amazing. And just a side note, I'm not being sponsored to talk about the water flosser. I probably should be because 
I talk to every patient to get the water flosser. I do have a specific video though, where I talk about different types. There's this type, which is a bigger type. It can hold some more water, but it has a cord. You have to plug it in. I prefer the cordless water flossers, which I'm going to leave the link for you guys down below. I prefer the cordless because I can put it under the sink. I don't have to look at it. The less on my counters, the better. With the cordless, you can also use it in the shower. So if you just truly think I don't have time to clean in between the teeth, when am I going to do this? Make the time in the shower when you shower every day and it's cordless so you can take it anywhere. It's truly amazing. Buy the water flosser, you guys, I'm telling you. I'm going to leave the link for you down below. You're going to notice a difference. There will be less plaque, less stain, and your hygienist will be so happy. It can help prevent cavities. The cleaner the teeth, the cleaner the mouth prevents cavities and gum disease. So get the water flosser, I'm telling you. I'm going to leave some links for you guys down below. The string floss is good if you use it every day. Same with the floss picks. It's good if you use it every day, but nobody does. But the floss picks, I do prefer for kids, okay? Let me know, you guys, if any questions. Thank you so much for watching. I will leave the link for you down below with a cordless water flosser that I personally like to use, okay? Good luck. Have fun. You will love it, trust me. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.